Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome to the second Nmap tutorial. I'm really sorry for the late upload. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So in this video, what I'm going to be showing you are uh, a few uh, advanced Nmap commands and I'm going to show you how to actually scan with Nmap and what to do with the results and how to read the results. Alright, so uh, obviously if you've installed it um, on Linux, you open your terminal or on Windows, open your command prompt and you initialize Nmap. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to open the help, uh, Nmap help, all right, because I just want to show you guys something, all right. So uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, the help command will basically give you like all the options and some examples. All right, so for this, what, what so let's actually scan something. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Nmap. That's how you initialize a scan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan the Nmap um scanning domain the one they allow you to use for educational purposes i'm just going to scan it and the reason i'm going to do this is i just want to show you what results you get when you don't use any options all right so let's scan it and uh, it'll probably take a few seconds regardless of your internet connection and i'll explain why it takes uh, some time in a few seconds let, let me just finish the scan uh, so basically what it's going to do is it's going to start scanning for open ports and as you can see it's scanned for open ports now by default uh, nmap will scan a thousand ports all right but it can go it can scan up to about 6500 ports so by default it's going to scan a thousand ports that's why it took uh, like uh, 15 seconds as it says here so it's going to start the scan and it's going to give you the latency which is pretty okay um, and it's going to show you the ports. It's going to say it's going to say here not shown. These are the closed ports 996. That means 996 or a thousand minus 996 is four ports. That's how many ports are actually open or filtered. Now let me explain um, what that means. So down here it's going to give you all the ports that are actually active, right? So we have the 22 port, which is basically SSH. We have the AT, HTTP, and we have NPing and Echo. These are really not very important and are really not targeted that much. Uh, but in the state uh, option here, it's either going to be open or filtered. Right now, none of these ports is giving that state of filtered. Now, if you ever see uh, filtered, what it means is that uh, Nmap cannot really determine whether the, the port is open or closed. So you really want to stay away from the filtered state um, ports. So basically it's scanned a thousand ports and it's given us the ones that are open. And basically from here, you can select the port you want to attack. Now, in hacking terminology, this is really, really poor or bad practice. Now, why am I saying that is because you're actually just wasting time scanning through all the ports that you really don't need. Uh, so what, what a hacker would do or a penetration tester he would have the specific services he would want to attack. For example, if you wanted to attack SSH, he would target the 22 port. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that right now, how to target specific ports. And uh, yeah, and uh, in addition to that, I'm going to show you how to save the scan results. Now, why am I saying, um, why is this important really? Uh, well, it's because if you're going to perform uh, these massive scans on big websites or IP or, or a large amount of I, the, the IP range is very large, uh, it's going to take time and it's going to have a lot of um, a lot of data that is going to retrieve from the scan, right? And most uh, usually, this is a common mistake with beginners: is they usually perform a scan and then they close the terminal by mistake, and all the scan results are gone, and the scan could have taken, for example, a few hours. And all of that's gone down the drain. So it's always good practice to just save every scan so you can refer to it and you can look at the results you got and it's just always a good practice. So let's actually start a scan but for this I'm, act I'm actually going to use my subnet, um, my basic, my, my network subnet, my, my Wi-Fi or my home network subnet. So uh, how I'm going to do this is you need your subnet uh, IP which you can find by hitting ifconfig um, there we are. And uh, once it opens IF config, you want to go to the current network interface that you are using. So if you're using Ethernet, Ethernet 0 would be uh, the option. And if you're using Wi Fi, that would be the one. So you, in, I'm currently using Ethernet. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down to INET, this line right here. Now, you want to look at Netmask. Netmask will basically give you the maximum range that, that the IPs go to. So 
what my IP would be is 192.168.1.0 to 255 now let me illustrate this so we're actually going to scan my subnet to see what ports are open and i'm going to output it to a um, to a grippable output now, let, let me just write it uh, let me write the command and i'm going to explain as we go so again to initialize we use nmap right and now uh, we're going to use a special type of output called a grippable output which is basically like a document but it just sorts the data out um, very very uh, neatly or it formats the the data very neatly so i'm going to say uh, output a small o and a big g all right excuse me sorry you want to add the hyphen um, small o and big g that's grippable output now you want to enter the ip range all right so 192.168 that's mine sorry 168.1.0 to 255 so that's my ip range all right so for this example, I'm not going to target any specific port. I just want to show you first how to save the results and what what results we're actually going to get. So now we want to um, uh, we want to get some more information about the scan. I talked about this in the previous video. We're going to use the verbose uh, command, which will basically give us information about the scan, and it's just going to print out all the data that's that's actually being um, what's going on during the scan. However, there is a second uh, command that will give us like everything that the scan, whatever is going on in the scan, and that's a double V, which means double verbose. So it's just giving you more information. After the double verbose, you wanna uh, add a greater than sign, like we did in the in the previous video, but we just want one, and we're gonna select a directory to save the grabbable output file. So I'm gonna select my desktop, which is at home, my username Alexis, and desktop. And after that, we want to give it the we want to give the grippable output. Uh, we want to give it a name. We want to give the file a name. So let's. I'm going to call this results. All right, and I'm just going to hit enter. And as you see, uh, I'll get a, a results file here on the desktop, and it's going to finish the scan. Now, if I open the results file, we're going to get all the results. So as I mentioned, it's going to start scanning the ports. It's going to scan a thousand ports until it finds any open. Uh, any open ports so as you can see these are all down 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 all the ports go down until we have uh, we, it gets to the first uh, dot one where we have a basically we have a port 21 which is um, ECP FTP and then we have port 80 which is HTTP and we have we have about three uh, open so that's basically how to output uh, the, the the results to a very neatly arranged um, document which is the grippable output as you can see here and it's actually going to give you the time you perform the scan so it's very good documentation now if you want to target a specific port what you're going to do is um, i'm just going to leave that there and we're going to we're going to save another uh, grippable output file uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to we're going to use the same command all right you just hit the up button uh, when you're on the terminal it's going to open the previous command you entered and we're just going to enter one uh, little thing right here, which is the hyphen P, which is the port. And we're going to say port 22, right? And if we hit enter, it's going to it's going to say results. And uh, I actually forgot to get, uh, name the results into another file, but hopefully it's merged. Uh, um, as you can see, it actually added to the first ones. Uh, we know we targeted port 22, so let's see if it actually got 22. There we are. So it actually got 22, and SSH is actually active. And it's going to give you the time it finished and how long it took to scan. So that's basically how you output and how to basically um, scan according to your specifications. There are a lot of other commands which I'll be going through. I'll be going through a bit of the more important ones. But this is just it for this video. I, I want you guys to just practice with the ports and saving it. You can also try and save it to a TXT document and you'll see the difference between the two. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. If this video did help you, leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, uh, dislike the video and let me know in the comment section. If you have any comments, hit me up on Kick, the comment section, my social networks. You can hit me up anywhere and I'll, and I'll always answer your questions. Uh, otherwise guys uh, uh, one more thing I wanted to ask you guys is I just want you guys to just share my videos so it reaches uh, a lot more people than it actually does right now uh, so we can actually help more people because a lot of people need this content and they actually can get it 
And the reason I'm creating this is because I really want to help people uh, learn all of these things and I'm doing it for free. So I hope you, uh, you guys can really help me out there. Thank you for so a lot of the support. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.